So in this video, I'm gonna walk through 10 different use cases and ideas that you can use to get the creative juices flowing and start to decide what you wanna build using bolt.new. Let's dive right in. So you'll see here I've been cooking and I have 10 different tabs I've queued up to give you a series of examples of the prompts and the interfaces you might wanna be able to build depending on what your target market is, and more importantly, what problem you're trying to solve. So for the very first one, we built a vibrant social media planner for handmade jewelry. And the prompt is, I'm a solar entrepreneur who needs a vibrant social media planner that feels like a creative assistant. The app should suggest catchy post ideas for my business and show calendar with posts for Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. And then we walk through what the design and general vibe should be. And then we say, make it easy to drag and drop the posts on the calendar and show me a simple analytics page highlighting my top five posts. Now obviously this single prompt won't make it functional. This will give you a mock-up. And usually what helps really remove the barriers from getting stuck on making it functional is try and ask Bolt to create mock-up data, which is fake data across the whole app. Because you wanna be able to visualize the entire process and go through the motion of understanding exactly what you want to build and what ideal would look like before you get into the trenches and understand, okay, how do we take this from idea and mock-up to something functional? At least you'll be very clear cut on exactly what should appear where. So in one prompt, we got something like this where you can go down, we have use this idea, you have coming up. Obviously this is all fictitious data. When you go on content calendar, you have the ability to add a new post and there we go, it's non-functional. This is a good example of where you'd say, you know what, for the content calendar category, on the new post, we should be able to at least type something and at least simulate what that would look like. Then we have the post ideas, which looks like a decent tab. We have repurposed content that you can click on. You have target platform. And this is really where the AI might come in, where you're repurposing the content using AI. Then we have an analytics tab here with simulated data. So that's idea number one. Let's take a look at another idea. So this other one is a freelance business manager app for graphic designers. And our prompt here was a bit different. Build a freelance business manager app for a graphic designer. It should have a clean, modern dashboard showing active projects, deadlines, and recent client communications. And then we include basically what sections we want it to have. So what tabs should appear on V1. And I want the vibe to be creative yet organized. Think minimalistic, design with artistic flourishes. This example here is where AI helped me craft this prompt. I basically used a caveman prompt in ChatGPT, asked it to make a much better version of that prompt, and this is what it basically cranked out. And then I said, add a feature where an AI assistant suggests my daily task priorities and can draft a quick update email to a client about their project status. And once again, we have something here that we can click through and gives you a good idea of a starting point. And this is usually where people jump in straight away to functionality. And I'm telling you, get this perfect. The same way some designer would develop a Figma and make sure it's fully flushed out and the customer journey is fully mapped out before they go into the actual build process. Next up, we have a very popular one, which is the personal finance tracker. And in this case, we said create a personal finance tracker for a self-employed artist to manage their small business finances. It should have a friendly, intuitive interface with a dashboard showing money in and going out. I wanna be able to see call for charts and then we go through the app design, tone, the general vibe again, and then the structure. So if we look at the result, we have a transactions tab for an artist. We have a dashboard. We seem to have this icon right here that ideally would be able to add in money in or money out. And that's again in one shot. So obviously this is not going to save anywhere since we don't have something like Superbase hooked up to store the memory and make it persistent. But we could see theoretically what it might look like. Let's say test. And does it add it to the screen? There we go. So we have a simulation of what it might look like. And for me, anything I do, I generate the mock-up. I see what it looks like. I go back and forth. I see different sections. And I start to really ideate what makes the most sense. And it looks like it even suggested some form of AI insight intelligence here, which alone, if we took this, would be a whole feature to take you probably 10 to 15 prompts with some Superbase or NNN or make.com integrations to make this fully functional. Next up, we have the async team hub for remote startups. And the prompt here was build an async team hub for a small remote company to share daily updates and collaborate without needing meetings. And then we walk through in first person what you envision. 
So I envision a simple feed where each team member can post their status update, in brackets what they're working on, any blockers idea, in a card or post format, which we have right here. And then we go through what the structure should look like and where AI might be involved in the process. And at the very bottom, we say this hub should support tagging or categories like hashtag engineering, hashtag design, so people can filter by update. And we get something like this, where it simulates four users being online. We have updates by different categories like design, business, wins, etc., with some fictitious users. And you see we have the team statuses here, and this is where you begin to ideate, okay, how are we going to make it so people can onboard themselves on the platform? Well, probably we'll need some way to log in. Okay, enter something like Superbase, where you create a user's table. You create the ability to authenticate using email, pass, Google, one authentication, whatever works. But this acts as your launching pad. Next up, you can use the underrated ability of Bolt to also build your entire website. Instead of using a website builder, you can use this as your pseudo website builder. Because if you want to be able to make your website in the future, AI enabled or AI first, you have it built on Bolt and it's easier for you to do that. So here I said, I need a website with booking functionality for my local business. It's a boutique day spa called Tranquil Escape. The site should feel soothing and professional using warm earth tones, clean design, and images of spa treatments. And then we go through here, a very key part. So key pages, what you expect to see right here, 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 and here. So we list that all out. And then we go through an FAQ section. We say that we want some form of pseudo chatbot that again, we'd have to develop incrementally. And then we have the chatbot tone of how it should respond. This won't obviously work out of the box. This is more just a prototype. So if you go into here and I say, book me, we won't get a response or, oh, interesting. Okay, let's see what this does. Let's see uh, what do you, what do you guys do? If this responds on first try, uh, okay, there seems like there's some form of templated response, but better than where I thought we'd start. So we're already on the on the way there. And then we go through basically what should be on the homepage on the lander, which is book your relaxation session now and explore our services. And unlike some web app builders or website builders, when you click on this, it's already interlinked to the website. So we have explore our services, which goes here. We basically have all the links figured out from what I can see, let's see, discover our treatments. Yep, we go back to here. Obviously we need to add some images where it makes the most sense. But basically instead of starting at zero, you went from zero to a mini hero in under one prompt. Next up, pulling on that same thread of building a website, you can also make it into some form of info product or academy. So in this case, we have the Growth Guru Academy, an online course platform. Obviously this one will be a lot more involved. And I won't read this entire prompt because it's a lot beefier. The TLDR is I want to create a custom online course platform for my business coaching program called Growth Guru Academy. It should have a modern, easy to navigate design with my branding. And these are my key needs, a course module page, a community section, and the exciting part, an AI learning assistant chatbot. And if we scroll to the bottom, you'll see here it says it should have an admin dashboard to see how students are progressing and what questions they ask. So if we go through this, it looks like a decent website. We go to login. Ideally, there's some form of demo account. So let's try this. Okay, we'll do this and then some form of demo, which is really cool and proactive of the AI that if we sign in, okay, we have some form of simulated view. So now we have this student named Alex Chen. We have the course tab. Very good. It has completion rates. Awesome. We have the community tab which is like a mini school community or something along those lines. We have the overall dashboard. And let's see, do we have an admin? Let's see if we do copy. And then let's do, oh, let's do this. There we go. So we have this admin view under Sarah Johnson admin. And let's see what we can see on the admin tab. So it seems like we have a series of analytics, like an overview, student progress by student, which is very cool common questions and analytics. Now, to build this out and make it fully functional, accurate, and production scale, this will take some time, this will take some development. But the idea that you can build a platform like this using something like Bolt should really get the juices flowing and really an understanding of what's possible. For the next example, this wouldn't be a vibe coding tutorial if I didn't show you some form of to-do list app or productivity coach, so this is it. This is your AI-powered personal productivity coach 
we have a mega prompt here that I got AI to help me build. And this is the result. We have some coach with a weekly summary of what you've done, your daily habits. Let's see if we can add a new habit. Vibe coding like a pro. Add an emoji. Add a habit. What are we up to? We have some form of simulated response. We have some settings tab. Very cool. And the prompt, again, very beefy, so I won't read it line by line, but it says, I need an AI-powered personal productivity coach to help me as a freelance writer stay on track with my goals and habits. The app should function like a friendly habit tracker plus chat coach. And these are the features I want. Some form of daily checklist, an AI coach, a dashboard. And basically, if I say I'm procrastinating, I want the AI to offer a short technique or motivational quote. And something along those lines, at the very bottom, we say, let me customize the vibe slightly. I prefer a casual humor tone if possible. We basically go through the design of the app and what it should look like in terms of tone and design. And this next use case is one of the more powerful ones that I think will get even more popular as all of this technology advances, which is a personal CRM with an AI assistant. So instead of using those out-of-the-box SaaS CRMs that you pay either annually or every time per month that lock you in and lock your data in, but don't do exactly what makes most sense for your business, you could theoretically build your own mini CRM, where in this case you can store some contacts, active clients, leads, follow-up tasks, etc. And then you can keep developing this as you wish. In this case, the prompt we use to build this is help me build a personal CRM to manage my client and lead relationships with an AI that assists in writing follow-up emails. I'm a freelance consultant and I want an app that keeps track of everyone I talk to and reminds me to check in. And once again, we go through some key features like a contact list. You should be able to set a follow-up date or frequency for each person, an AI integration. So when an AI follow-up is due, I want the app to suggest an email draft or talking points. If I type a short command like email John about a new use case, the AI should be able to turn that into a nice email. Pipeline status right here, and then the overall design again. You'll notice that I tend to send some form of final request on the design at the very bottom, so it keeps it, in terms of recency, top of mind when it's actually designing the app. And if we click on an actual contact here, you'll see that we have some form of email assistant that, again, is going to be draft for now, but you have the ideation here, the design here of what this might look like. And for the second last use case, we have the Feedback Sherlock, which is a customer feedback analyzer. And basically what we have here is the ability to upload a CSV, theoretically. You would probably have to connect it to something like Superbase, tell it that a CSV is coming, so it knows to actually parse out that CSV, send it to something like an AI analyzer, or maybe even something more like a Python script to break it down. So theoretically, you could put some text here like, I hate your product. Now, again, we'd need to load this to some form of AI backend, but it's already simulating what it could look like. It would come back with a breakdown of positive versus neutral versus negative, some keywords, some most mentioned words. And this is an example of a feature that I wouldn't think of top of mind, but just going through this process allows you to think of, okay, this might make sense. And let's click on this sample features and functionality. Okay, so you'd want also possibly some quotes or specific comments that are going onto this category. Now, a lot of this will need to be very AI power to one, analyze the data, analyze the sentiment, then decide which quotes make the most sense, then basically decide where each quote should live in the scope of the app. And the prompt we wrote was, I want to create a customer feedback analyzer app that can take all the comments from my last product survey and give me a clear insights. The goal is to understand what my customers like and dislike without reading every response myself. And once again, we have the key features, which is an input section where I can paste feedback. The app should output a summary of key themes. We should provide a visualization or analytics of sort, and then give me an AI written summary that reads like an analysis. And then we can draft out what that analysis looks like. And because we're using behind the scenes, Claude, Claude has around a 200,000 token window, which in plain English means you could probably give an essay or a two page prompt in the first shot to give it a really clear idea of exactly all the sections and subsections that you want, which is why you can see that my V1 is a pretty comprehensive V1 that when I click through, there's mock-up data everywhere because we're basically baking it into the prompt itself. And once again, we have the design as well as a few other details like allow me to export and copy, which probably wouldn't work on the first try. 
And then this will basically turn overwhelming feedback into an easy brief. And that's pretty much it. We basically tell it the name as well. If you don't tell it the name, it'll come up with a name of its own. So you might as well just do it yourself. And last but not least, we came up with a personal fitness coaching app, which literally looks like a mobile app. And our prompt was, I'm a personal fitness coach, and I want an app for my clients to view their workout plans, track progress, and get guidance, almost like having me, their trainer, with them digitally. And if we click through here, let's go on Coach Sarah, and we'll click on Login as Coach Sarah. So you'll see the clients. Can we add a client? It looks like we can add a client. We have input fields like fitness goals, physical limitations, profile photos, etc. Then we have workouts. Let's see, do we have any specific workouts? So we have upper body, lower body, cardio, etc. Perfect. We have progress of our specific clients with ideally some form of visualization. We have a message tab, which would be more complicated than you'd imagine to build well. And then you have a AI assistant that allows you to create workouts for your clients. So create a 30 minute upper body workout for beginners, design a hit workout for weight loss, etc. So now we have a general design here that we can keep building on. And on the left hand side, again, we have to specify we want client profiles, we want a workout plan calendar, progress tracking, messaging and feedback. And the more you can lay out the vision, really the foundation, Think of it as asking for a blueprint or building a blueprint for a brand new custom home. If you're giving it to a builder, you want to be very specific that there should be a pool and a courtyard from the very start. So you don't have to write this all yourself. You can use AI and give it the general idea. You can brain dump in plain text or plain words and have it make a very detailed plan that you iterate through. And this acts as the best way to get a very solid V1 that will keep you going and keep the momentum going. And more importantly, the ideas flowing. So once again, these are only 10 of probably thousands of ideas that you can come up with and build with bold.new.